okay. Here's <laughs> Jeremiah. Let's watch his special. Yeah. Yeah, you could get a Galaxy Note tablet for $160. Yes. You could go to like Staples and get, yeah, one of those knockoff iPads yeah. for $160. You could get an iPad mini for like $299. Yikes. What a scheme. Here's Jeremiah. Uh, it is good to be here, guys. Wow. 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 This is weird. So many people I know in one room. Family reunion, Jeremiah. Man, I hope this goes all right. This is exciting. Man. Jeremiah Watkins went back to headline, went back home to headline a weekend of shows in Kansas City. That's where he's from, Kansas City. All right, so it's half family, half people who showed up to see comedy. I'll get to know some of you uh, as the night goes on, and then some of you I might be talking about in my act. I don't know. When he walked out on stage, he discovered that most of the audience was family and friends from his past. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Having a, a wow, then it cuts to an interview portion. So it's a documentary stand-up event. They cut to Jeremiah's brother. Looking terrible in his white trash, shitty Christian home. Uh, this guy's decked out in Kansas City football gear. It looks like he's got some sort of arrowhead type hat. He looks like one of those fellas who's in transition. Okay, some type of a uh, gay guy, he, she, manly, beardo. It looks like a woman who's transitioned into a man. And uh, they're going to do this occasionally throughout the special. They're going to cut to Jeremiah's family to do fake interviews. And by the way, Jeremiah is operating the camera for the interviews. So he set this all up himself. Listen to this. Some of you I you might go. be talking about in my act. I don't know. <laughs> We'll, we'll see. Techie, techie. We'll see how this goes. Having a, a brother as is. a stand-up comedian is um, interesting. Um, sometimes I have to be kind of picky who I refer to his YouTube channel. Um, just <laughs> Why? based on uh, people that I work with. And um, no, I don't like that. Imagine if you work with somebody and they're like, dude, I tuned into Jeremiah's special. <laughs> You're fired. It was too edgy. He made a joke about music ones. Just comedy in general is too edgy for this guy's job. Yes. He's well, going to get canceled. Oh, he's a minister. That's is he really? I think the dad's about to say this. His whole family is ministers. Okay. How I fucking thought creepy. I we were joking about Jeremiah yeah. being a Christian, but looks like it's true. I might get canceled at my ministry if they find out that my... Brother here does jokes. They still sleep in the same bed. Mm -hmm. Butt to butt. I don't like that. Well, it's certainly two extremes. Jeremiah's when I have one son that's a stand-up comedian and the other is a, in the training to be a minister. So I guess uh, our family is... This is Jeremiah's dad, and I apologize for uh, Amazon. They do this thing where it uh, darkens the screen. Look at Jeremiah's dad. Look at this asshole. He's been in the service. Certainly he's a military man, right? Is he? Looks like it. Looks like a military man. I hate a guy like this. I hate a guy that served our country. He's into the <laughs> church, but he's a bastard too. So Jeremiah must be terrified of this guy, right? There's his father. Let's hear what he says. Kind of known for our extreme. Cheers. I think that uh, mm. women and men treat engagement what? very differently. Treat time together very differently, right? Like I feel like women kind of treat engagement. Okay, it's opening joke. Hold on. Jeremiah don't know who he is. These jokes range from the difference between men and women to screaming and crying. I mean, it's really weird. Let's listen to this his first whole joke. Next three minutes yeah. could be Eliza Schlesinger mm. if you were listening to only the audio. Again, he doesn't realize he's biting everyone. He doesn't have his own voice. He doesn't know who he is. He's going to do an Eliza Schlesinger bit. We were almost going to say, we were going to write this bit down on paper and go, who is this, Jeremiah <laughs> yeah, or Eliza? Uh, and I don't know if you've watched Eliza's stand-up, but it goes 
a little something like this. Watch. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, it's certainly too extreme. Right after his I dad. Have one son that's a stand-up comedian, and the other You're gonna is love it. A, in training to be a minister. So I guess uh, our family is kind of known for our extremes. I think that uh, here he is. Women and men treat engagement very differently. Treat time together very differently, right? Like I feel like women kind of treat engagement like it's a job promotion. You know what I mean? Like they're stoked. All right, yes. Listen to this. <laughs> Finally happened. <laughs> I have been working so hard for this. One of the best friends is always there. It should have happened a long time ago. <laughs> Guys kind of treat engagement like it's a death in the family. Fuck yeah. You hear about Jeremiah? <laughs> He got engaged. Fuck uh, yeah, strong joke. So women, they like weddings and all this stuff, guys. We got football to watch. Bro, bro let me know if I'm gonna pass a quarterback to a kicker or something like that. Then I'll be involved. These okay. are some insights. Very funny. And it's almost again, he's imitating comedy in general. It's almost like who's he ripping off? Well, he's ripping off comedy you know what i mean he's imitating what he thinks comedy is supposed to be i couldn't believe it i didn't think this would be something that's even something he'd be interested in do we keep playing because he goes into yes, his eliza yes, Stras yes, schlesinger playing. so jeremiah starts doing act outs every act out he does is a different comedian's version of an act out all hack this one happens to be an Eliza Schlesinger moment. Maybe we could even find something similar that Eliza does yeah. on YouTube. And I'll play this and then we'll watch Eliza. Let's watch. Here you go. What? You're going to love it. I just saw him yesterday. How did this happen? She just kept saying that it was his time. And they love him, by the way. He was so young. When I was engaged years ago, I uh, went to an engagement party with my wife. This is At pure the time, Eliza, we this whole thing. Yes, this whole part. Right? <laughs> That's a big jump in title to go from boyfriend, girlfriend to fiance status. You're going to love and this. And my thing with engagement parties is I can't stand them. <laughs> Because there's so much judgmental energy that's going on. Everybody's just kind of checking in on you. You're not being to yourself. Oh, how much money do you make? Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, Again, you're you. paying $5 for this. This was filmed on one. This is a tape. We turn this on. We go, this isn't special. This is just, you videotaped yourself. You can't just videotape yourself in the back of a comedy club. Now you're going, Mike, there's multiple angles. No, there's not. There's one wide shot, and then he zooms in on that wide shot in post. No, no, no. You can't charge for that. You can't do that. I don't like when they do that. Not even on YouTube. I was going to ask you last night if we were watching that, if, if that's what they were doing. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're taking the wide shot, and then they're zooming into it to create another shot. That doesn't work for me. That's cheap. You can see it's blurrier than the original. Well, it works Rick Glassman, and Redband, and he's the professional. They love this. So. Rick Glassman and Brian Redband think they've hacked the world by going, if you shoot in 4K, you could zoom in to a tighter shot, and it still looks good because there's that much resolution. It doesn't look good. It looks awful. Get two cameras to do this, okay? Looks cheap. Yeah. Here it comes. So there's this lady that uh, my wife this. was introduced me to. And uh, this girl looks me up and down. She goes, oh, <laughs> is this your boyfriend? <laughs> and there's something evil inside a woman <laughs> that flips internally when they have the opportunity to tell another woman that it's not actually their boyfriend, it's their fiance. Wow. The energy just changed at this point. I swear Eliza even a dark has. Wind I know. Came Fian type in Eliza fiance. See, he don't even know he's ripping people off. He absorbs, steals. Yeah, let's let's paint him as a thief. Why not? <laughs> Defend yourself. You're a thief, Maya. Remember, we used to call him Maya. 
MYA. Ghetto superstar. That is not what you are. You've been stealing far too long. It is time to be on Red Bar. Listen to this. Through and blew out all the candles on the tables. Glasses started shaking. Water Here started. comes the act out. Elevating. She turns around and she goes, What did you just say? Look at this. This is a tape. We turn this on, we go, This isn't special. This is just. You videotaped yourself. You can't just videotape yourself in the back of a comedy club. Now you're going, Mike, there's multiple angles. No, there's not. There's one wide shot, and then he zooms in on that wide shot in post. No, 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 you can't charge for that. You can't do that. I don't like when they do that, not even on YouTube. I was going to ask you last night if we were watching that. If, if that's what they were doing. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're taking the wide shot, and then they're zooming into it to create another <laughs> shot. That doesn't work for me. That's cheap. You can see it's blurrier than the original. Well, it works Rick Glassman, for Brian Redband, and he's the professional. They love this. So. Rick Glassman and Brian Redband think they've hacked the world by going, if you shoot in 4K, you could zoom in to a tighter shot, and it still looks good because there's that much resolution. It doesn't look good. It looks awful. Get two cameras to do this. Okay? Looks cheap. Yeah. Here it comes. So there's this lady that uh, my wife this. was introduced me to. And uh, this girl looks me up and down. She goes, oh, <laughs> is this your boyfriend? <laughs> and there's something evil inside a woman <laughs> that flips internally when they have the opportunity to tell another woman that is not actually their boyfriend it's their fiance. Wow. The energy just changed at this point. I swear Eliza even a dark has wind I know. came. Fian type in Eliza fiance. See, he don't even know he's repping people off. He absorbs, steals. Yeah, let's let's paint him as a thief. Why not? <laughs> Defend yourself. You're a thief, Maya. Remember we used to call him Maya. <laughs> MYA. Ghetto superstar, that is not what you are. You've been stealing far too long. It is time to be on Red Bar. Listen to this. And threw and blew out all the candles on the tables. Glasses started shaking. Water Here started. comes the act out. Elevating. She turns around and she goes, What did you just say? Look at this. Okay, if you're not familiar with comedy, this bullshit microphone monster thing has been going on since, I think Bill Hicks is the first one to start it. Find me, Jules, find me this, Bill Hicks, Satan. A lot of comedians copy this. I ran a comedy club in Chicago, one of the most successful comedy clubs Chicago's ever seen, and it's time I'm part of Chicago history for that. And a lot of comics do this mic technique. We'll see where they go. <laughs> because they like how it sounds in the microphone. This has been ripped off and done so many times. But I think Bill Hicks started this. Watch this. Came through and blew out all the candles You'll on see. the tables. That's not everywhere. Glasses started shaking. Water started. Watch this. Dan Cook. Yep. Here. Rogan. She turns around, she goes, so people are going, Dane Cook, Rogan, Eliza Schlesinger, they've all stolen from Bill Hicks. And you'll see this whole comedy nonsense, why I hate it so much. It's, who would say this? It's derivative. Who's this? So it is derivative. It has some synths and stings. Who's that? Fantano. Fantano. All comedy. I love this word and I learned it from Fantano. <laughs> derivative <laughs> they just copy each other that's all comedy is they copy each other's cadence they copy each other's tone there's about four different versions of stand-up and each person just copies and submits what they do is they look to others they go what jokes haven't they done that i could do in their voice that's all it is watch this and then we'll show you the copies come on jerry let's hit it we got a big show here 
Uh oh, I'm getting texted. Oh, Say, you. Here. The energy Watch just this. changed at this party. A dark Kinnison. wind came through and blew out all the candles on the tables. Glasses started shaking. Water started elevating. She turns around and she goes, What did you just say? Here it is. He's not my boyfriend. That's Eliza. He's my wow. fiance. Um, okay. So let's kick it back here. Let's watch Bill Hicks and see what he does. Let's see if this is similar. And then I think that's an Eliza steal, though. But Eliza stole from this. Here's Bill Hicks. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's the same as Jeremiah's special. What the fuck? Comedy Dynamics? Wait, Bill Hicks has the same opening logo as Jeremiah's special? Wow. <laughs> let's see this. See, that's our problem. And it's never changed from day one. Our continuous search for enemies outside of ourselves. Drugs, yeah, there, that's the answer. Whew, thank God we solved it. Whew. I feel better. Take a while. People forget about drugs, man. Let's skip ahead. Kona, put him down. I'm never going to find this. You got to find a better one than that. Uh, let's look to Eliza Schlesinger, who has done very similar routines. Let's see. Oh, the party goblin. Which one should I play here, Jules? The party goblin is what reminds me of that voice. Okay, does, let's I see. Think. Yeah. Well, everybody is doing or stuff the like that. There are two kinds of hungover. They, Sorry, they can get similar. Let's see they... this, because believe me, both of these people do this. I want to pin this on them. I want to bust them here today. <laughs> let's see this one. What's my middle name? There we go. Yes. <laughs> and then I would just go, and I would climb to the top of the nearest building and just start swatting at helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, close, but. That killed the beast. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, these are exact ripoff. Find me Bill Hicks, Satan. I swear to God, they got a whole thing about Satan. The I devil. Know, I just can't find a clip. Satan, they're blowing their heads off or something like that, where he's going. <laughs> it's so good. You got to hear it. Bill Hicks, maybe it's the Jay Leno, Satan type in that or something like that. See, Jules has never seen Bill Hicks. You don't know what to find. Let's see what this one. Bill Hicks is a ghost boy. Goat boy. No, it's not this goat thing. Forget the goat thing. Type in Jay Leno, Bill Hicks, Satan, maybe. Because he's really stealing it here, and I, I need a back-to-back. -back. That's how you really prove it and bust these guys. Here, we'll watch your... <sighs> he's not my boyfriend. <laughs> he's my fiance! You gotta get me this one, dude. Jay Leno. I captured him. <laughs> You see this ring? <laughs> he bought it for me. <laughs> What's really scary is when you see a group of engaged women at one of these You're parties. You're kidding me. There's nothing about Jay Leno and Bill Hicks. Just type in Jay Leno, Bill Hicks. He does a whole bit about Leno. You know, this is getting ridiculous. Is it here. this one here? Wait, I just sent you another okay, one. Okay, let's see what this is. Not on Jay Leno. No, not him on Jay Leno. No, it's a bit that he... Okay, wait, hold on. I got another one. Goddamn, Jay Leno. Bill Here, I sent you another one. Okay, let's see. It's coming in. Bill Hicks, thoughts on Jay Leno. Let's see what this is. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Maybe. Let's find out. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing well tonight. I'm glad to be here. I've been on the road doing comedy now for like uh, 10 years, so bear with me while I plaster on a fake smile and plow. Joey Lawrence. I mean, Bill Hicks, Joey Lawrence, Jay Leno. This doesn't sound like it at all. I can't believe this is take. I thought for sure, boom, 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 we'd find it. Uh, we got to bust this, Jeremiah. I cannot move on until we have a legit back to back bust here. Okay. <sighs> I can't believe this is taking this long to find. Uh, I got to do this myself. You do it too. Bill Hicks, Joey Lawrence, J. 
Jay Leno. I mean, this shouldn't be that hard. This is I mean, a huge Bill Hicks bit. Bill Hicks kills Jay Leno. Here you go. Did you see this one? No. Here you go. This has got to be it. This bit. This is one of the best. This is why everyone liked Bill Hicks. It's so funny. All the comedians who love Bill Hicks, you've heard them talk about, they all do commercial after commercial after commercial. Uh, and then you hear Bill Hicks say this. Can't you, you know, respect your idol? Your dead idol? He died at 32 years old, Jules. And they don't respect him. Joe Rogan, this is Joe Rogan's biggest idol. This is why Joe Rogan got into comedy. Not only does Joe Rogan do one commercial, he does about 45 per week. 45 different companies. He's off the artistic roll call forever. And they call it art, right? Wow. Hear any comedy like this anymore, right? With any type of point or meaning like that. All right, so that's kind of the thing that I'm talking about. So here's <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. They're inspired by Bill Hicks. Isn't this funny? The ad men of today, inspired by Bill Hicks, stealing, doing Eliza Schlesinger, will go back to Jeremiah wonders a long way to go, but trust me, you need to know these backstories. You can tell when they're stealing, when they're being Fantano's derivative. <laughs> All right, here he is, Jeremiah Watkins, doing what he thinks comedy is supposed to sound like. You're going to love this. They start getting so excited, they start talking in a, some demonic language that I can't even understand. I'm just watching from earshot. They're just like talking rapidly. <laughs> Future <laughs> babies. <laughs> I'm gonna let myself go <laughs> forever, forever. <laughs> A little alien pops out of their chest. <laughs> this is so Eliza. I'm just watching yeah. all this. My nose is bleeding. <laughs> no. Like, should I even be getting married? This never happened. <laughs> and yeah, I've been happily married for two years. So there you go. Oh uh, yeah. Nice shirt, by the way. Where do you even find a shirt like this? What do they call this? A baseball Henley? A softball shirt? Yes. I baseball hate tea. this type of shirt. <laughs> Talk about a twerp. What are you, uh, in a commercial here? You're in a nice commercial? I hate these type of shirts. If you wear a little baseball shirt, you might as well be with Louis J. Gomez's son on one of these exceptional dates. Okay? You're a fucking creeper. What's his next uh, time code here for Jeremiah? You're going to see him do every comic, every comic through history. It's almost a homage to um, comedy through time here with Jeremiah. Can go to five minutes, I think. Five minutes in. What's he going to do this time? Oh, we're already here at five minutes. 459. I think he just does some cringe yells. Okay, here comes a bunch of yelling. And by the way, his family loves it. So it's tough to hate on. His family loved it. They were entertained. They couldn't believe it. Let's watch this. They were dying. Listen to this audience. They love it. My them. family is all right there. Look at this up. is the weirdest thing. It's just like a chunk of people right in the eye lines. I say, hey, guys, comedy club, make sure you don't put them in my eye lines. They're in my freaking blinders right here, judging every single word that I say to this microphone. Mm, this isn't you. <laughs> I feel like he changes his character yeah. every five minutes. He doesn't know who so. he is. He doesn't know. Or who like he is. at one minute he's a marriage guy, then suddenly he's like a scummy slime. Ball. Again, every comedian you've ever seen, you're gonna see tonight on this family reunion stage. <laughs> Let's see if Jeremiah kills or if he bombs in front of everybody tonight. That sounds like a fun reality TV show now, doesn't it? Right. I don't I don't like the early stages of dating because I feel like there's too many oh. unnecessary games. Dating, nice. Dating, because that's a comedy topic. Dating. He's not a dater. He's never dated in his life. He got married to that one girl at 16. Yeah. It's an arranged marriage through the cafeteria church. Uh, what's our next time code here? 740. This is a good one. Okay. Uh, what's he going to do here? You'll see. Okay, seven. Uh, let's that's see. Fine. Seven, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, here you go. Look at this creep. Full of their fireplace. <laughs> nice jeans. <laughs> Why would you ever do that? One of my buddies is laughing extra hard. He knows which buddy that is. 
That's what happens when you do shows in your hometown. And you see people laughing, you recognize a friend's laughter in the dark. Okay. Has anyone seen comedy? I've seen all of these things attempted in open mics. So he's doing this now. Who's this derivative from? Because I've heard this style, this exact style. And you know what? I heard it a lot. To me, it reminds me of like Chicago open micers. Have you heard this style? Can anyone pick out who this is? You do shows Listen. in your hometown, and you see people laughing. You recognize a friend's laughter in the darkness, Let's and you're see. like, this could be a little bit strange, but I'm not going to make it an awkward situation. I'm going to plow right through, if you know what I mean. This guy still doing the post right here with his head. He freaking hates my guts, and he doesn't care a thing about a single word that I'm saying. Uh oh. Oof. Look at him. I've never said this before to another man, but. Okay. Very fucking cringe, huh? Isn't that I overwhelmingly that cringe? And they don't know what to laugh at. You know, these comedy crowds are so dang stupid. All right, what's our next code here? They're saying it's Josh Adam Myers. Josh Adam Myers. A lot of people do this. This comedy song cadence where they think if they could keep thinking, dun, 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 dun. then they'll get the laugh at the end. Hopefully. Yeah, because of the effort. Okay, what's the uh, next code uh, here? You can go to 1920. 1920. The <laughs> year he should have been born. 1920. Wait, 024. What's with these codes here? Look at this. 1920. Okay, I, I understand. Uh, 1920. Here we are. 1917. Here, uh, back to his pops, I think. I'm hurting my dad. <laughs> you shouldn't be here, Jeremiah. What are you doing? Probably. Whoa! A little bit of the sexual material, if it gets graphic, might be a little bit uncomfortable. He does get into um, some sexual topics. I play the Would You Rather game. He gets into sexual topics. My wonders? <laughs> hmm. If I know anything about wonders, it's that they brought him to a strip club once and he put his head down and made a beeline, then cook, to the back exit. Yeah. He couldn't look at the naked ladies, but he knows comedy. And he knows in comedy, this is what I mean, he's not being himself. He's going to do sex jokes, Jeremiah? He's never had sex. You don't even like sex. These are sex jokes you've never heard before. Okay, I can't wait to hear it. Sometimes he gets a little too sexual. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's hear his sex stuff. Game recently, which as we all know, if you play the Would You Rather game, there's never two good options. Uh-oh. Right, this is what I was hit with. Hey, Jeremiah, would you rather have a threesome with your parents and nobody ever know about it. Uh-oh. Or would you rather not have a threesome with your parents, but everybody thinks you had a threesome with your parents? And all of you are asking yourself right now, which one would I choose? No, we're not. We're going, I can't believe you're being this hack. We can't fucking believe it. Nobody's sitting there caught up in the fool's moment. The fool's bit. Do we keep playing yes, here? Yes, wait till you hear how he ends. Let's just keep playing. Okay, it here we go. And maybe the second option, I don't know. But for me, I'm a child of divorce. If I could bring my family back together for one more night. Fuck yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That is the best family incest joke you will hear in Kansas City on a Friday night, guaranteed. They love them. I have them all here. How awkward is this for me? You think it's awkward for them? I'm coming to you guys now. I was timid at the beginning, but guess what? I'm losing it up here. I'm going for it. That's William H. Montgomery. I'm going for it. I'm losing it up here. This wow. isn't you. <laughs> I've watched you since your infancy. You never talk like this. You see how he takes on the souls of all these other comedians? You're losing them up here. <laughs> Very cringe. What's our next time code for this? Um, you creep? can go to 2950. 2950. 
This will not stand. And remember, he's charging $5 for this on Amazon. Yes, this wasn't on YouTube. We paid. We paid. twenty nine fifty. I wonder how many copies she sold, right? 60? 40? Maybe 40. <laughs> Here. Oh. Did you just Jedi mind trick me to move on to a different couple? The drugs you're looking for. <laughs> wow. Only five years. That's cool, though. Right? Doing some crowd so, work. Third marriage. Um, <laughs> uh, what about you? Is this, uh, uh, yeah? Third marriage? I freaking called it. What did I freaking say, guys? You guys are looking at me like I'm an idiot. I do this every night of my life. Woo! I see things. I call them out. Oh, yeah? Uh, now what? Uh, I do this every night of my life. I see things. I call them out. Someone's getting a little too cocky in front of their family. This isn't you. Okay, right. you can go now to 5155. 5155. And then he starts doing a completely different voice that we've never heard him do in the special so far at all. Yeah. At and, 51 minutes. And look at this little booger breath. Talk about hot breath comedy. <laughs> there he is. Look at this little guy. You could shoot him out of a rifle. He's so bullet-like, right? And he looked like a long-range rifle bullet. <laughs> all right, let's hear what he says. They we got Classman's dad. They love it. I like that. That's cool. The I crowd's went to one dying. Of those bars with a mechanical bull. Uh oh. Recently. Mechanical bull stuff. And uh, he went to the. The only thing that I've ever seen about mechanical balls in the movies. Like, what is this? Is yeah. only the sexiest people. That's Sebastian. The only thing I've seen. About mechanical ball at the moment. It's the sexiest painful. That's not you. That's more Logan Paul. I've never heard of him do this before, and also I didn't hear him do it once before this came up in the special. No, it's almost I, I, over. Again, everything he does is somebody else's routine. Let's see this. The only thing that I've ever seen about mechanical balls in the movies <laughs> is only the sexiest people. Get on these things. This was on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. Look at him. The home of the movie industry, where they shoot all the TV shows. I was excited, because in every movie, I've only seen the hottest women just ride that thing. Oh, yeah. Wait till you see the punchline. It's a slow motion. Boobs jiggling. Oh, yeah. Let me guess, they weren't hot when you actually went to the bull riding Just place? Just one bead of sweat slowly Maybe. rolling down their face. <laughs> cascading down their bosoms. The stuff's hollow! Just straight sexual energy. That was not my experience whatsoever. I didn't see that coming. It was like they made the announcement for mechanical bowl signups and the sewer people heard. Watch it. Oh. oh no. Look at him. Oh no. Oh no. Too far. <laughs> Look at this. Did someone say mechanical ball? Oh, yeah. here it is. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. No, no. This isn't it. Did somebody order like nine orders of ranch? Yes, over here! Ooh, that's a lot, man. That's tough. That's too much for me. Jeremiah, come on! And also, he like... This is crazy! All these act outs that he does, They're he doesn't yelling, no, sell them at in the chat. all. Like, he sees himself no, he doesn't as like sell Jim them. Carrey exactly. doing this, but he's only like 60% in it. Because it's not him. No. These are other comedians that he's copying. It doesn't really work for you. <laughs> they don't like it, Jerry. Because sewer people only drink ranch. <laughs> no. 
people are upset in the chat. Yeah, they don't like him. Yeah, I go hard in the pain, dog. Let's uh, poorly rate this. Now that you've seen it, let's make him gulp at his new rating. Where can we rate this? Is I there guess somewhere? You have to buy it on Amazon. You have to, to buy it. it. I'll lend everyone the five dollars. We could rate this thing into oblivion. <laughs> Uh, is there any more here? You want to see his final bit? Yeah, let's see his closer. This is good. 5825. And, uh, this is actually really bad. His uh, big closer. We watch, so y you don't have to. <laughs> Jeremiah's special. We watched this whole thing, didn't we? Yes, we were. Yikes. In 58 shock. minutes. 5825. Simply could not look away. Is that what you said? 5825? Uh, yeah, 5825. There you go. It actually was just the right amount of cringe. Like some stand up is so yeah. bad that you have to turn it off like Because right it's away. so boring, right? Most stand up. And, but this was just cringe enough that you could actually make it through while yeah, covering it, your mouth in shock. It kept us entertained. We would highly suggest watching this with a huge group of friends and you're all mocking the screen and throwing things <laughs> and at the all screen. Of bits in between were literally like Tim Heidecker's fake yeah they like, really seemed his like crowd work he'd be like oh you guys met in running club oh what did you chase after her and then you guys ran together in running club like but he he's serious to do crowd work he's not doing anti-comedy he's not mocking <laughs> no. comedy he's actually doing this stuff here's his closer let's let's My mom's get through like, give me a grandchild <laughs> nope my, my, okay, so there's this closer. My wife wants to have kids, but I just don't think that we're quite ready, right? So my pullout game has never been stronger. <laughs> it gets to that moment during sex, I just start meditating, guys. I'm like, <sighs> like it's about to happen. I'm like, oh, oh, ah, get it out of here! What? No, 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 no. She's doing that thing that you ladies do when you're on top. You're just riding it. You know? Look at him. Just feeling yourselves, right? No. She's putting a little bit extra weight into it. Making it harder for me to roll her off. Oof. Look She's at this just display. She's using gravity and witchcraft to stay on for as long as she can. Right? I'm just looking up at her. I'm like, there is no way you're this heavy. I get paranoid, right? I don't know what to do. I pull out, I'll shoot a load into my belly button. She grabs a turkey baster out of nowhere. I don't know what to do. I panic. I go, Whoa. So apparently it's a bit about pulling out and eating your own cum. And he's doing this at his family reunion show. <laughs> So this is his bit, right? Yep. It's some sort of uh, don't get pregnant. Turkey baster stuff. So he pulls out and he doesn't know where to shoot. And none of it really makes sense. These bits aren't like fleshed out at all. They're very amateur. So he pulls out and then he starts eating his own cum. This is something you'd want to say in front of your whole parents. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Here, watch this again. As long as she can. Right? I'm just looking up at her. I'm like, there is no way you're this heavy. I get paranoid, right? I don't know what to do. I pull out, I'll shoot a load into my belly button. She grabs a turkey baster out of nowhere. I don't know what to do. I panic, I go, Whoa. Fuck, man. Fuck. Wait, watch his finish. Yeah. We're not having this baby. My career's about to take off. I'm performing for a half-packed crowd in Kansas City on a Friday night. I love you guys. I had a blast with you. Thank you so much from oh. the bottom of my heart. Every one of you guys that came Who out. Who does this? Thank I you. I love you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, Jeremiah wonders. I can't believe he does that. He does that his finish. His thing. closer is a joke about how he pulls out and eats his own cum. He's even using like big time Comedy Central music. Like this is what they would use on Comedy Central five years ago.